time to go. Got everything, sort of. Speaking of helping me getting everything downstairs. Only those two bottles. <laughs> but yeah, such a nice place. And a great night's sleep on the couch. It's good, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's time to go out. It's raining a little bit, but uh, this afternoon should be dry, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good ride, I think. All right, I just left Spigniew's house. I'm gonna meet him again in the city center of Boleswaal, which is not the city. <laughs> it's the center uh, of the tiny town here. And uh, we're gonna take a photo at the, the main square, I think, or the main like library house. I mean, it's a very small place, but uh, it's for the local, the local magazine, local newspaper. You know, to say that it's real. We, I've really been here, you know. <laughs> so that will be the first stop, and from there on, I'll be on my way to the Czech Republic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Coffee shops are so nice. <laughs> Set in another one for about one and a half hours. The rain has stopped, so we can uh, cycle again, hopefully. A bit cold though, it's way colder than yesterday and the day before. It's like a lot colder, but uh, it's actually quite nice for cycling. So let's get back on the bike. Bike squeaks. I think it's the brake. Something on with that thing. I also when the when I brake with the front brake, you hear you hear this here. If anyone's familiar with that sound, please let me know. Because I think it's an internal problem. I won't be able to fix now. But uh, it's quite annoying. Front brakes having some issues since since the first month. Everyone's doing okay, but. Not great. The brake I have is a Hayes a CX Expert, so from Hayes. Right here you can see the brand name, Hayes. It's probably not gonna be such an eventful uh, episode. I don't really feel like uh, vlogging. I don't know, I have a little stomach bug. But uh, it feels like it has uh, moved downwards, so uh, not so bad, but this afternoon was pretty painful. Anyways, I am just making my way. I'm road picking. First I followed a cycle route, dirt roads. Then I started Kamut, dirt roads. So now I'm just picking each road individually, and this is one long one. To uh, yeah, to the southwest, basically towards Prague. So uh, that's my direction. So on the recommendation of uh, Zbigniew, I passed this town called Pszczyna, and uh, he said it is a really cool center. And man, he's right. It's really cool. Nice place, nice place. Uh, I found a campsite. The weather is actually good, blue skies. A nice sunset. I rode until sunset basically. The sun is already down and I just arrived at this campground. Look at my hair by the way, it's really, it's really getting bad. Anyways, I'm gonna set up the tent here. 
uh, campground. I don't know how expensive it is, but the thing is, I don't have any zotis, any cash. I only have check-in currency actually, so I don't know how I'm going to be able to uh, to pay here. I hope they accept my uh, my check-in currency. Anyways, going to set up the tent. Tonight we're going to have some interesting kind of dinner, something I've never had before or never cooked before. I have I've had it before, but I've never cooked it before, so you'll see it now. All right, so I have two dinners prepared for tonight. Man, I got to love this cutting board right now it's very convenient for chopping up my um, onion and garlic this meal is self improvised so it's not from a recipe or cookbook or anything like that just uh, use what I had and uh, yeah I hope it's gonna be good see so that and then this is just a small pasta with like bouillon block and water and that's pretty much it so I also have tea and the second meal will be this stuff. I actually wanted to drop this in there, but I just saw that this is with blueberries. So this is sweet and that's a bit salty. So that doesn't really go well together. So I'll prepare these in a different, uh, yeah, with different water, just, you know, normal. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's an improvised soup, you could say, sort of soupy. I hope it's good. There it is. Some steamed dumplings right there. Awesome. And just like that, they're gone. Oh, it was a good meal. Both meals are good. Actually, the first one surprised me. It's quite nice, actually. It's just soup. Like, the first one was more quality and quantity, and the second one was more quantity than quality. It was a lot. I think that was a portion for two persons. But of course, I'm bike touring, so I need to eat well. That's what I did. Anyways, it's a complete mess. It's the only downside of having extra stuff right now is that it is a complete mess. It's sort of like testing right now because I will be going to Prague, then I'll stop touring, go back home, and then go to Australia, of course. And in Australia, I do plan to tour as well. So well, now I'm looking what I can, uh, what I can get rid of, what I can use for touring in Australia. But that will take a while before I uh, got, get to do that. Before that, I'm gonna make the most of my time here in Europe. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the Czech Republic. Border's not far, I think 20, 30 kilometers. Something like that. I'll be going to a town called Ostavra, Ostrava, I think. I think it's a nice town. It's, I think it's a pretty big town actually. One of the bigger ones in Czech Republic. So uh, I might even go to a hostel there. I'll, I'll look at that tomorrow. So anyways, that's it for this video. It's a short one, short cycling video. It will be easy edit because I think that the last two days I haven't edited it yet by now But I think that those will be a pain in the ass to edit with all the drone shots and that sort of stuff But uh, yeah, it will be good. Thanks again. Speak me F, Bishuk and uh, Roxana Just amazing people. They're, they're just, you know, those people they just gave me so much. They even gave me sandwiches from the road and um, I, I still feel like right there are fruits from the garden of, of uh, Zbigniew's place and uh, they gave me so much you know you, you almost feel guilty for not giving anything in return but they said that they also had a great time I gave them I think like company in return or like motivation and of course the video as well <laughs> and uh, I think also an interesting experience so yeah <laughs> but of course you know when they're I said when they were going to the Netherlands once for maybe one to two years I'll be back I'll show them around and uh, do all sorts of fun stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, if you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys tomorrow.